Five-day Mohawk Valley forecast for your Friday. I'm Jeff Matthews, Accurate Educational Fun. See that? Go there and like it. You'll find good stuff, trust me. Quick peek at your trivia question. How does the sun produce its energy? What process does it use? Is it fission? Fusion? Now you know why I put both of them there, because I want to mess with your head. They're so close. Hydrogen or synthesis? Three weather headlines. Cool and damp through Saturday morning. Sunday's the transitional day where the thermal incline begins, and by the time we get to Monday and Tuesday, already we'll be above 70 degrees. Can you believe that? It's true. Rainy and cool on Friday. Saturday, pretty much cloudy. Sunday, transitional warming up. Then, getting the habit of pattern of showers coming through Sunday night, Monday night, and Tuesday night. But in the late times, partly to mostly sunny and highs warming up into the low 70s. Short term, though, honking huge storm moving through Ohio, Pennsylvania, and western New York. That storm bringing a lot of foul weather, wind, clouds, rain. But beyond it, it turns totally clear. Look at Wisconsin, totally clear. Minnesota, the Dakotas, Nebraska, Iowa, all those states, clear. So, we'll get into some of that Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. With the storm, though, especially on its western half, you get a lot of wind. This is the wind from Wednesday. Then Thursday, it's translating eastwards. Thursday night into Friday, it'll be over the northeast. When you get outside of the storm's influence, though, it warms up. Only in the 30s and 40s in the Great Lakes, Ohio, and Northeast. But then when you get out of its influence, 50s and 60s and even 70s, even over the Colorado and Wyoming Rockies. So, all you need is to get into some early April sunshine for the temperatures to go up. A review. On Thursday, the storm was over St. Louis. No, on Wednesday, I'm sorry, on Wednesday. I drew that arrow and showed you where it would be Thursday night. That's where it is Thursday night, right there. Bringing the heavy rain Thursday night, the heaviest of the rain Thursday night. So be aware of that for flooding concerns Friday morning. Eventually that'll pull out and away Saturday morning, maybe in the form of some wet snowflakes as the temperatures turn a little bit cooler on the tail side of that storm. But it's Thursday night into Friday, the rainiest period. Meanwhile, look at how close I was on the high, on the low, which means we were well below the average, and nowhere near the records. That number, not fit official, because it's pouring rain Thursday night into Friday morning still. 7.35 is sunset, 13.03 total daylight. You can support weathertainment by telling your friends. You can tell them, you can also share it on Facebook, and you can purchase one of these products and others that are available on the website, which then a small percentage goes to weathertainment. Back to your trivia question. How does the sun produce energy? It is not fission. So if you're a fool by that one, you're out of here. Strike two would be hydrogen. If you said hydrogen, that's what's in the sun that is used to create the energy, but that's not the process by which the energy is created. And strike three would be synthesis. I just threw that one in there. So it's fusion, the process of fusing these atoms together causes them to vibrate violently and create a tremendous amount of light and heat. So, for Friday, light rain and cool, 42. Friday night, light rain, and after midnight, maybe a change to flurries. Saturday morning, flurries early, then just cloudy until 4 o'clock, but then the sun may come out at 5 or 6 with a high of 44, but most of the day will just be cloudy. Sunday, mix of sun and clouds, warming up, 58. Notice how the lows and the highs get further apart as the skies begin to clear up, okay? So it gets warmer in the day and cooler at night because of that. A shower or two Sunday night, Monday night, and Tuesday night, but in the daytimes, partly to mostly sunny, and by early next week, warming into the low 70s. So we have something to look forward to. Stay dry until then. Make it a great Friday.